Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Chill. I'm Kev, yeah. Episode 9. Where's that come from? Um, really, really flown through this, enjoying it so much. Um, maybe got to a point there where I didn't do, I've, I've like slowed down a little bit doing them. Um, probably wonder why. It's because I'm getting to the end. I'm getting to the end and I don't want to. Yeah, that's it, that's it, I don't want to. Um, I know that the production is currently underway for another HBO kind of Steven Spielberg, uh, Tom Hanks special called Masters of the Air, I think, um, kind of focuses on the, 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 the bombers coming in. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. It's due out soon, um, early 2023. Um, so super excited because what it is for a change, I'm going to get to watch it as it comes out. I know this came out a long time ago, same as Band of Brothers. So this time we're going to get a chance to watch it along with us as we go. So I'm super excited for that. Um, but yeah, this is coming to an end soon. I've only got two episodes left. Um, uh, I'm expecting big things. Yeah, because last episode obviously was all about um, we lost John Barcelon. Um, I have like heard a few comments from me to say that you know that his wife was real and that she never remarried, which is so sad. Um, but she was kind of married to the core as well, I guess. And because, you know, John came along, um, swept her off her feet. And I don't think she was really the marrying type anyway, the way, like, they depicted her. But uh, she came along, John came along, swept her off her feet. She, she married him, he died, and I think that was it. She was like, right, that, yeah, that's it, that's it for me, I'm done. Which is very, very sad. Um, John was obviously a huge legend um, for, where, where he grew up. Still known today, um, the legend of John Barcelona. Uh, again, I, I don't Google because what will happen is I'll Google something and, I'll, and something else will be seen. Also, a few of you are still trying, I've been told off my moderators, a few of you are still mentioning who wrote the books. Just wait till the end for that, if you don't mind, because then I'll know who survives, because I'm guessing this next episode is going to focus a little bit more on Sledge. Um, so I don't know whether he survives or not. Uh, I do think he does, personally, but I don't know for sure. And by knowing for sure if he... If he writes one of the books, then I know for certain that he survived, even though I'm kind of 95% certain. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? You hope, Well, hopefully you get what I mean. Even I don't know sometimes what I, what I mean. But episode 9, Okinawa. Um, yeah. Excited. Excited and nervous. I think that's the best bet. Looking forward to it, though. I don't really know what to expect coming into it though. Uh, yes, but I know we focused a lot on John Barcelona in the last one. So this one, Okinawa. Two episodes left. It has been ramping up every time, especially with them. Um, I know we lost Akak, which was devastating for the mental state of our young Eugene Sledge. Sledgehammer, as they say. Um, I didn't expect Snafu to be kind of like someone who's got his back. I expected Snafu to be a complete shit biscuit all the way through, but he's turned out all right. Um, I'm looking forward to finding out whether these people, like what they did and whether they did like actually have these lives, but I am guessing that they're very, very, they're very close to the bone. If some of them, have, some books have been written, I can't wait to read some of the books, let's be honest. Um, I'm expecting it to be quite violent, this one, maybe quite sad. And then I don't know whether the last episode's all about just tying everything up, um, who leaves and stuff and going back to the army, a bit like Band of Brothers did, um, but we'll see. Let's just get into this. I'm excited, nervous, anxious um i think a bit like everything when it comes to this show um you can be nervous yeah you, you look forward to it but you don't kind of you don't know what to expect um but yeah i'm sure the little bit at the beginning i'll probably uh when the when the gentlemen are talking it'll lay way to exactly what's expected so yeah um if you're enjoying the channel hit the like button and subscribe it really does help with the algorithm that's all um lots of um uh, like a lot of people that could watch these videos if you if you like it It'll just send it out to more people and then the algorithm of YouTube goes. Oh, I like that some people like this video We'll uh, we'll send it out to more people. So if you could that would be amazing if you want to drop a comment as well That would be great. And also we do put the full length episode it's full length episode to, to the to this reaction over on the patreon Uncut and unblurred. I'll leave a link if you if you like that type of stuff, but he we go excited nervous as I always am The island of Okinawa. The final step of the Allies' planned invasion of the Japanese mainland. 
In all of the Pacific, there probably wasn't a more terrible campaign. Oh, no. It was bloody hell. They were making us pay dearly. Okinawa had the highest number of casualties in all the campaigns of the Pacific. Hundreds of thousands of Okinawan civilians were wounded or what? killed. What? Caught in the crossfire of battle. Oh my god, that's horrific. The, the rains were so constant and the mud so deep, so the bodies would just constantly rot away. Well, you wonder just when in the hell is this thing going to be over? Over two years and, and it's still going. And uh, when in the world are we going to get out of this mess and uh, live like human beings again? Oh man. Instead of like rats. You're legends, that's what you are. For two years, though, and you've seen so many people die, um, you've, you've, I can't kind of get over the different places that they'd been and the fact that they didn't even use some of the islands that they took. That, that to me is just, uh, just a waste of life. I hope Sledge survives. I hope it is him who wrote a book. I hope Lecky survived and wrote a book. So who wrote, who wrote the third? Snafu? No. He probably ate the, he probably ate the fucking book. <laughs> I don't want the show to end. I'm pleased the war ended, obviously, but I don't want the show to end. I'm nervous. I'm really feeling it today. I don't know why. Maybe the fact that they said that it was the worst one. This is going to be like dead bodies everywhere and... I hope the cheese doesn't slide off its cracker. The proper battle hardened now. With a difference in character from the beginning. The Okinawa. Fuck off. Ooh. What you say, Boo? The name's Pat. Tony Peck. Hey, Pecker, let me see that photo of your wife, Kathy, again. I need something to jerk off to. <laughs> She's perfect. <laughs> Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Uh, I need to make the jerk off to. Give us a picture of your last mate. <laughs> Sorry, it just tickled me, though. Real, real sick. I didn't hear that. Yeah, you think they're going to tell you? Take mine. Okay, thanks. He's got a brand new one. Ten for five. Ah, oh, cheers. Snafu, you cheeky little bastard. Those are army prisoners, boot. Oh, shit. Get it away, hero Hito. Slant eyed bastard. Move! Shoot him! He's not bothered. Move! Move! Set the fuck down! They're protected by the Geneva Convention. Fuck the Geneva Convention. Hey, hey, hey. Convention. Speak Japanese. I'm an intelligence officer. Well, maybe you should use your fucking intelligence to get these people off the trail. <laughs> yes. Very much so. We're talking to the Marines here. Yeah? Another Japanese prisoner. I'll have you court martial. So is he coming took over Akak's position? Oh shit. That's uh, that's coming in. This is it. It's all we've got. You're gonna need more. Holy shit, you'd be so nervous. Oh my god. Get your head down, man. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you saw him get hit at the top. Does he not, does he not know what to do? Yeah, it's well done, Sledge. Sledge had to get involved there. Try this. So the building likes somewhere to sleep for the night. Absolutely pissing down. Oh no, what's he doing? 
No, he's going to swap that out for one that goes over him and it's going to get the other, it's going to dry out, it's going to make them all wet. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, what a stupid thing he's done. Holy hell. The fuck is that dead? He's just hit the fucking, some rib cages. Sir, there's a dead body in there. Old Island's a graveyard. Get in your hole and start digging. Oh, wow. He's kind of like took over from Akak and he's a dick. Oh, his head's gonna fall. Oh, fucking. Uh. His head just fell out of his helmet. <laughs> well, uh. They're not gonna work. Yeah, it's because they're wet. Bury it, bury it, bury it. Fucking rounds are all wet. Get more of them. There's ammo on the road. Oh, mate. Are oh, you, are oh, you idiot? What the fuck? Can I have um, a pint and a half of lager, please, mate? And a bag of salt and vinegar crisps. They're civilians. Oh, they're all going to get more down. Oh, it's awful, you bastards. Oh, it's just a little kid. Oh, you fuck. Oh, my God, that is... Fucking horrific. Oh. I don't even know how to deal with that. You normally don't see kids get literally mowed down. Oh. You hit, son? He's dead. Keep moving. So he was digging and he digged into someone's rib cage. Horrific. One of the lads has died because of you. We gotta go and get some more stuff and someone died. Oh my god, look at all st Ugh. They've done a great job, mind, of like s the setting it and the production's insane. And somebody did message to say that isn't how many people have died. That's the days they've been there. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. The civilians. We should be. We should be giving him safe conduct. Thing that matters up here is killing Japs. What's the matter, Captain? One day of combat, y'all. Wow. I met her after I was drafted. <laughs> what? Drafted? What kind of Marine is drafted? You got drafted in? You didn't want to be there? Hey, you drafted too? No. Wow. So he's actually been drafted in. He didn't go voluntarily. That's a huge thing for the guys. It's more like he's being forced into doing it, not that he chose to do it. K Company, let's move! Let's move! Third platoon, in reserve! First and second, form a skirmish! Good lads, come on. I need all the men you can spare. Let's go! Huh, I can't spare anybody. Second squad, let's go. Why us? Because your squad's low on ammo. Prince DM, I'm coming with you, so grab a rifle and move! I'm coming with you, I'm not sending you. I'm actually coming with you. We need more damn men up here. Oh, uh. Alright, let's go, move out! You'll have been running and slipping over, falling, banging your head, fucking people shooting at you, you're running in dead bodies. It's absolutely horrific. Careful, careful, careful for booby traps and all that shit. Follow my lead, keep your animals. Keep some of your humanity, Sledge, please. Move it! Let's go. Oh, 
you know, and you're just like waiting for someone to get hit and I don't, can't deal with it. I have to get up there. Holy shit. The fuck? So he can hear kids? Are these civilians coming down? All right. Come on. Careful, careful, careful. Doesn't seem right. There's something wrong with it. The civilians are coming down, but I've got a bad feeling about it. Careful. Oh no, she's got some dynamite on her. Don't. Oh, the fucking baby. Oh my god. Fucking baby exploded as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. To normally don't kill newborn babies. Oh, there's just more than everybody down. Doesn't matter. They're coming down with the civilians. Go on. Yes. Oh, what a shot. Take that right in your fucking forehead. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's so harrowing. Oh lord. Take cover! Those are ours. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, he's throwing up, man. And nobody gives a shit about us. Come on. I wonder just how realistic this was. I mean, obviously, speaking to people who've been in the military, they've said that this show and the Band of Brothers show, they're very, they're pretty close. Apparently, saving Private Ryan, people who had been to, to, the, to Omaha and did the, the landings, said that they, they couldn't watch it. They had to walk. Like some of them had to walk out because it was they could smell gasoline and in the nose, and they, like it brought back so many memories. Almost kind of triggered PTSD. They say that's how kind of close to the bone, like some of the like some movies have it, like Saving Private Ryan. My dog died. Oh. It was a good dog. Find themselves into a ship. Emperor's God. Duty to God. I hope we get to kill every last one of them. Wow. He's definitely changed. God damn it, give it back. Fuck you! Oh. Oh, yeah, fuck her. Don't do it, Bill. Yeah. Bill, off. Bill. God damn it. What, the champs ain't enough? What the fuck's this about? It's a damn picture, Peck. Get the fuck out of here. We don't need this crap, Bill. Think I need it? Bill's a, you know, he's been there since the beginning. He's, he shouldn't, he knows better, but he, everyone's just at the end of the rope now. They're just going, whoa, the fucking hell. Who's been hit? It's a Bill. Oh my God, no. His legs are fucked. He's been hit. I don't know if he can see. They're, they're really good, like all of them, like a close to Bill. Oh, he's had his fucking fingers blown off. Oh my God, that was awful. It's like what the gentleman said at the beginning, like if, like I've seen the ones where they're safe, luckily they've been, some of them they get injured and you get a chance to go home because not many people did. He has his mom and snafu, like, he might be weird, he has his own ways. But he's still there to help. He still does try to help in his own way. Thought it'd be different. Grow up, Ham. Fuck you, Sledge. <laughs> Why don't you pull yourself in the hole the next time, okay? Now he's a Marine. That's the talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> oh. 
then there's Thanksgiving. I'm already working on your Christmas present. Ah, oh, he's a set of shit in a bucket. Out of the sticks in 46. Hell to heaven in 47. The Golden Gate in 48. Careful, careful, careful. He's going for a piss. I need a stovepipe boy up top. Fletch, that's you. Bring some calm wire. Oh. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, that's fucking stinking. He's gonna snap. He's gonna break. Fledge, where the fuck are you? Get your ass up here! Yes, sir! Oh, I thought he was gonna, like, literally just snap there and be like, right, I'm done. We're moving back into that ridge. I bet the fucking stinks. We Japs move into the hut to the left of the big tomb. Come on, Sledge. 310, range 300. One round, HE. Left, 20. Add 50 and try again. Oh, wow. Target. Market concentration Baker for this sector. Well done. Oh my god, Sledge, some boy now. Wait. Oh, you are all dead. That's just a suicide run, isn't it? This, you're you're in that you're in that troop of people running. You know you're dead. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. He's a chap, ain't he? Cease fire! Cease fire! God damn it! Careful, Sledge. I told you to cease fire. What are you doing? You just gave away our goddamn position. Thank God. A pretty good idea of where we are. I told you to cease fire. Are you supposed to be observing? So what the hell difference does it make? What weapon we use? Oh, Sledge. I just my goddamn hands if I had to. Oh, he backed off. He backed off, Sledge. Holy shit. Oh, Sledge has lost the plot. I'm so worried for him. Fuck, I'm so fucking tired. Fucking tired of this maggoty stench. Shut up! Fuck you! Shut up! Fuck you, Slash! Just shut up! Come What's he doing? On, you fucker! Come on! 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 Come You did it. It's your fault, son. Ham's dead. Hex gone. You two, get him out of here. Hex gone. So much death. So much death around you. And, and at this young age, you're just never going to get over it. This episode's been harrowing, so bad. It's focused more on seeing civilians die. Like, it's one of those where there's no words, I can't. just showing you now people to die in and he's just they're not even like battering an eyelid just they're kind of gone themselves Whew, dude can't wowza oh there's a baby crying Oh no. I'm gonna go in and it's just a baby on its own. Like a baby recording or something to make them go in. Oh, it is a baby. 
Oh, what they're gonna do with it? Oh my god, this is awful. I can't. I can't watch it. It's just an innocent baby, man. That wasn't his mortar, was it? The round he called Lots it. Of people fired mortars up here. The hell's the matter with you two? It's gonna go and pick the baby up. What are they gonna do with the baby? I mean, they're still humans. Come on, man. He's, they've just lost the plot now. What? What? Careful, Sledge. Oh, man, bless her. She's fucked. Is she asking to be shot? Oh, how he sledge. Don't do any. Oh, I don't. I don't like this. It's so unsettling. Oh, this is awful. So, like, unsettling. Shows he's still got his humanity. Where's Bergy? Which to me was a big part of that scene. It shows that he's still in there. Like I was worried there, I was thinking he's gone, but oh He's just a kid. Don't don't oh he's gonna I think someone's gonna shoot him. He's gonna get hit. Someone else is though. Oh, I knew that was coming. Got me a jack. Yeah, I got him. He's a damn kid. What's your problem? He's a jack. Oh, it's kind of what he was saying. So a sledge turned a corner, is it like? Check him out. He was just a kid. He's got nothing on him. He's got nothing at all. Of course he hasn't. But that was sledge only this this episode. We hate to kill jobs, that's what we hate to do. I'd do them with my bare hands. So this is kind of a pivotal turning point in Sledge, I think. Oh, we have the, the wow, they look all cleaned up. <laughs> wow, that episode was just full of just mud and shit. All right, enough of the sunbathing. Let's go, move out. Wow, back to it, boys. Drop some kind of new bomb on the Jet mainland. Don't get me though. Oh, oh, this one's different. No, what? Vaporized an entire city in the blink of an eye. Oh, right, I know what they've done there. That's going to be the end of the war coming. There's going to be a surrender. Anyway, killed a lot of jacks. Killed a lot of everybody. Uh, word is, battalion mess is serving cokes and steaks tonight. So that's obviously the, the bomb. The bomb. But won't be long before the, the surrender then. Obviously, episode 10 as well coming up. What an episode that was, that was hard, that was heartbreaking. Okay. I'm guessing that's the end of the episode. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Um, very, very intense episode. Lots of death, lots of um, civilian casualties, which you kind of seem to focus on a lot there. What I'm taking away from that episode, apart from just the pure carnage and the death and destruction that they had to go through, um, was seeing that Sledge is is still in there. Um, I was worried that his cheese had slid off its cracker a while ago, 
uh, and that's it. He's just on the downward slope, like slope. And then, then obviously you saw the last episode, like where, even the beginning of that episode where he's saying we hate to kill Japs. You know, I'll do it with my bare hands if necessary. And like, I was like, oh, he's gone. He's literally kind of like, he's gonna end up like another snafu type of thing. It's, it's he's he's changed his mentality to suit his environment. Um, he's like, I'm here to kill. This is my job. I've programmed myself to kill. I will kill, and that's it. Um, whereas that scene that awful scene where you'd seen that the, the, the house had been hit and the baby was looked like uh, the, like the, there was only the baby alive and then you saw two women and you see like an, an elderly lady she'd been hit as well she was dying obviously she wanted Eugene to shoot her she showed that she'd been hit got his gun and instead of shooting her which I thought it would have been like yeah shot okay that's another one that's another one down let's go he's kind of put his gun down and kind of just held her and, until she died like so he's still there he's still got that sense of humanity um and then you know and then he couldn't shoot that 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 boy which is you know which is normal and then you know somebody else shot him so i don't know whether there's just been kind of a switch now and you're gonna see him kind of going back towards humanity um i'm hoping uh awful very visceral brutal uh episode that um seeing the, the how much carnage it caused with this like civilians you know um there'll be a lot of different people the way the ways people think with regards to how the civilians were treat a lot of them say you know that they, they did help they helped the japanese soldiers so if they get caught in the crossfire you know so be it um they still are you know like another with like they were saying though the okinawans not they're not the japanese army um some people will say, you know, they're just, it's just wars, wars, war is hell. And unfortunately, you are here where we are trying to take this island. You get caught in the crossfire. You know, you're just another statistic. Um, the humanity in people will obviously say, men, the women and children who have got nothing to do with, with the war, they're not on any side, they're just Okinawans. You know, let them go, let them go in peace. Give them safe passage, a bit like Ham was saying. You know, allow them safe passage out of there, but, you know, You've been there for if you've been there for so long. You've been there for months and months and watching people die, die left, right, and centre. And even the Japanese were using them as cannon fodder as well. Yeah, it just it did did kind of focus on that a lot. Um, brutal, brutal episode, but still, you know, amazingly done uh, to watch. Watching it, it was an amazing one to watch uh, visually, production wise, as always, an amazing an amazing episode. It just that one was very hard hitting and very. Um, yeah, unsettling is the word, the, the best way to describe that. Even when they were digging, digging to try and get her somewhere to like lie down, and he's just digging through people's like rib cages, and then like you know you need to get in there and try to pull the helmets off, and the heads are falling out. Now, very vicious. Um, yeah, they've they've ramped up the viciousness of it in that episode. I don't know what they're expecting the next one. I'm guessing they've said that they dropped this new bomb. I don't know what that bomb is, and then. That's gonna be a surrender from the Japanese army. Um, yeah, guess it was the Hiroshima bomb, uh, or Hi Hiroshima, whichever. Uh, and then, yeah, so that should be the end. And then we're gonna to get to kind of see who survived, who didn't, and how the. Hopefully, we get to see who the after effects are. We get to see who the the gentlemen were at the beginning. So I'm hoping for anyway. Uh, thank you so much. If you spent any time watching this with me today, it's appreciated more than you know. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you thought of the episode, the, 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 what you thought of this episode. Um, and hey, whether you're, whether you're looking forward to Masters of the Skies as well, or the Masters of the Air or something, because I am looking forward to it. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon.